the help of the Almighty, a delegation of rabbis has come out here to Washington, D.C., Erev Rosh Hashanah, the day before the high holidays, to cry out our pain, our anguish, at the terrible injustice of this evil Satan, of the state of Israel, its existence, as a rebellion against the high, against the Almighty, the High Holiday is the time when we announce the kingdom of the of the Almighty over the entire universe, and we accept His kingdom. And here we have this terrible, terrible tragedy, this blasphemy and heresy, the state of Israel that is existing for over 61 years. We've come out here to Washington, D.C. to demonstrate, to cry out from our hearts and souls, from the Jewish people around the world, our opposition, the total opposition against the state of Israel, it's its mere existence, which is a rebellion against the Almighty. And we're standing in front of the Hadassah office, Hadassah hospital office, because as part and parcel of this terrible evil of the Satan called the state of Israel, this rebellion against the Almighty, is their hospital system, which has no respect whatsoever for the words of the Torah, and tries constantly to oppress the Jewish people who do not want to stand in support respect for any of the laws of the Torah and therefore they make autopsies, they use parts of bodies, they sell them, they use parts of bodies because for them it's convenient and they have no reason why not to because they don't believe in the Almighty and the, and the Torah and God. They dig up graves for archaeological purposes because there is no compunctions, no, no anything to hold them back from rebelling against God, against the words of the Torah. And yet, this goes on and on already over 60 years. So we're standing here of Rosh Hashanah in this year, and we pray to the Almighty that this should end this terrible injustice, this rebellion against the God, the state of Israel, which has so many facets in its rebellion and its heresy, the existence, of a transformation of Judaism from religion into materialism, the transformation of what it means, the redemption from exile, which is only through God, which we, which we pray every year in our high holiday prayers and every day, that God's glory should be revealed throughout the world and everybody should accept Him. And instead of that, Zionism has used a false a false redemption that has no meaning, that is only a rebellion against God, that, that usurps this connection to the Almighty and the prayers to God from all the Jewish people and to a belief, God forbid, that they have this type of redemption when all it is is Satan, the state of Israel. And then of course it's compounded with the terrible crimes that they're doing against the Palestinian people, stealing the land, killing, maiming, atrocities and all in our name. They've kidnapped the identity of Judaism and the name of the Jewish people. And they portray themselves as representing God. And every part of the Torah gets breached. So behind the scenes you have Adassa Hospital when people unfortunately, God forbid, get sick and are put into the hospital, they never know if they'll be used for experimentation like we've just found, that they're experimenting on a child. And when they finally became aware of this, the parents, so instead of stopping what they're doing with their evil, with their terrible, terrible, with their, with their, with, with their hate, with their, with their inhumanity. They took this mother and they arrested her. They put her and tortured her and held her for weeks. 
They took this woman who suffered so many months and years because they were experimenting on a child and when she finally became aware through advice of other doctors and she tried to take this child out of the hospital. What did they do? They arrested her and they, and they stole and took all her other children away from her. A perfect example of what Zionism is. Their ploy, their method of gaining legitimacy is by always attacking and vilifying others. When the Jews in Jerusalem, the chief rabbi of not the Zionists who we don't recognize, but of the Jewish community and all the other rabbinical authorities became aware of what they were doing with this child. So then they, they, they called the Jews out for demonstrations. And what did the Zionists do? They started a new policy. They took cars and they rode into the crowd. They drove directly into them. They mowed them down. And they did this not once and not twice, but three times. And there was another demonstration because the Zionists again are trying to trample on God and his Torah. So what they did was they opened the parking lot directly next to the religious community that it should be open on the Sabbath to desecrate the Sabbath. And flaunting the desecration of God this holy Sabbath, which is an attesting to God, creating the world in six days, and the seventh day he rested, they create, they open this parking lot directly next to the Orthodox community. So the Jews went out to stand there, the religious Jews, and protest. Again, the police drove into them. They had somebody drive directly into them, and, and mowing down a person. This is what they are. And this is a new method of their, 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 terrible inhumanity that they that they constantly perpetrate against anybody who stands in the way the Orthodox Jewish people and the Palestinian people God help the state this Satan should end with God's help we pray speedily and peacefully that we could once again serve God and uphold the Sabbath and uphold all the commandments of the Torah as we have promised and made a covenant with the Almighty so we pray to the Almighty that this should stop immediately and this year, this this coming year, tonight, this new year, should bring the year of redemption, that God should have mercy on the Jewish people, that they should become aware that the state of Israel is something which is a total rebellion against the Almighty and God should bring a speedy and peaceful total dismantlement of the state so that the Palestinian people with the, all the other humanity and the Jewish people together should be able to recognize the one God and that we should be able to go up and serve God in peace and harmony and be able to coexist and serve God and this evil, the Satan, should be ended with God's help in our days.